Today I have a new Sonoff NS Panel Pro to show you, what you can see here on the, on the left. And before you say that, oh, I just bought a new, well, I just bought an NS Panel Pro, well, the version that we know, and uh, now there is a newer model, well, it's not entirely true because, well, yes, it is a new model, but basically this is a different form factor from the original one. So in terms of functionality, it behaves and it works the same way as the old one, but uh, now instead of a square form factor that we used to uh, see in the past, now we have this more, you know, 120 form factor, which is in line with how the, you know, the switches and the switch panels look like in the US. So if you, you know, wanted to wait for a more US style NS Panel Pro, well, you don't have to wait for anymore because now this new one is available. So this one that I had from a long time ago is, uh, you know, gray with this gray enclosure. But also this was available in white and then now you can see how the white looks like with the white enclosure. So obviously this is meant to be mounted on the wall, but you can buy this enclosure as well if you want this uh, like a desktop model just uh, the way I'm using at the moment. So I'm finding it a little bit difficult to make a good representation of these screens because obviously if I turn the lights on then uh, they get a little bit washed out. Uh, so maybe this is probably the best that I can do at the moment. Uh, they look a little bit blurry but uh, they are absolutely sharp uh, to the naked eye. So obviously you can see the big difference uh, between, as I said, is the screen. There are some minor differences that I'm going to come to a little bit later in the video. And uh, you see that how the, uh, you know, the UI makes use of these uh, different form factor. And, um, <clears throat> and in some cases you might say that actually the square aspect looks uh, or works a little bit better. Uh, but uh, I would assume that maybe with some further you know, software updates, uh, there will be a slightly different versions for the vertical layout. I mean, the reason I'm saying this, because we used to look, you, you know, we used to this form factor and you can see how the, <clears throat> for example, the buttons are square here and they are more elongated here because, um, you know, they probably just use the same aspect ratio and obviously it just scales differently on a vertical screen. But uh, if I scroll to any other screens, you can see that it's basically the same functionality. So you can control the devices, you can control them the same way here. So there's not really any, you know, difference, obviously, how these uh, units operate. And if I go into any of these screens, then of course, this, you know, the, um, you know, as I said, the functionality is the same. And uh, I can also go to, you know, a power consumption screen. I skipped some of the screens on the new ones. But, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same. Obviously, this appears to be a little bit brighter, but I think that's, uh, that's mainly the, uh, the background, the lighter background that I use makes this impression that it is lighter. But uh, actually, they are pretty much the same brightness. And uh, finally, yeah, we have a thermostat screen and I should have a thermostat screen here as well. So you can see that it, uh, you know, again, different. There is more vertical space on this screen as the screen elements get spaced out a little bit longer. So now I pick the same background so you can see how, um, you know, the, the screen looks like on both of them. And as I said, uh, I have a few more screens configured for the old and not the new one. But again, you can do exactly the same features uh, as well. And before I mount it in the enclosure, I just wanted to show you the, um, you know, how the unit looks like. Because after that, it's all going to be hidden. So again, you can see that the, you know, the sort of the size difference between the two different models, obviously one is square, the other one is more like the, uh, you know, the rectangular uh, that I mentioned already. And on the back, that's how she looks like. So we have two connections, uh, you know, live and neutral. That's all you need. There is no output, there is nothing. And uh, that's it. So these are your mounting points. And, uh, and then, yeah. And then just like with the previous models, let me just get a screwdriver. So if you put the screwdriver here and then do this, then yeah, that's how you separate the back. So this has all the screens and the, um, you know, the controller and microprocessor and everything. And uh, this basically just has a power supply uh, to provide power through these pins. And so you can mount it on a wall uh like that using these you know screw holes there is four on the side there is two here and then you just pop the front screen back on and i think the way you do it is is yes first you align these top holes here well at least that's how i do it i mean that might be a little bit more difficult to get it aligned when once it's in the wall but i do that and i push on the back uh, sorry i 
push on the the front and it clips on and I almost forgot to show you that uh, you know if you want a desk mounting option for the S Panel Pro you can still buy these enclosures so these are exactly the same enclosures that uh, was available in the past as well so there was always these two different colors uh, available so one the you know the gray for the gray and uh, for this square version there was also a white uh, option available so it comes with this white enclosure so again as i said these are exactly the same and sort of like lengthwise or portrait wise this still fits the new ns panel pro so it should be a good option for that as well if you want a more landscape version in uh, for your desk the only difference is that the older NS Panel Pro had side mounting holes here, which lined up with these holes. But here I only have these two holes. So I think I'm going to use these rubber pads, which sort of look like that they are going to line up and I'm going to screw the screws into that. And that's how I'm going to fix this new NS Panel Pro to this uh, enclosure. As I said, you get the same features in, oops, in the settings as well. So if I go into these, you know, these screens are exactly the same. And if I go to the settings, you will see the same set of features. The only difference I noticed is if I go to display, so that's how the display screen looks like. But if I go to the display on the other one, then you can see that you have another option, which is the orientation. So you actually can change the orientation to portrait and then you can turn the, these NS panel pull sideways. But um, I think the way the screens work at the moment, this is, uh, I just find it hard to click on this back arrow. So it's it just a little bit less, you know, useful. I mean, maybe that you can find a few layouts where this portrait uh, works a little bit better. Uh, but I think, in fact, it's, it's the, uh, sorry, the landscape works a little bit better. But I think it's really the portrait mode which works, uh, you know, great on this one. And so let me just turn this back on and we can see the screen orientation. Let me just get out of the settings. Yeah. Yep. The whole thing is in the way. The camera is in the way, so I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. So again, uh, that's the, you know, one of the things that uh, I wanted to mention. And also quickly wanted to show you that uh, the NS panel, so this new NS panel just, uh, you know, shows up as a new device on the on the evening application, just like the previous one. And here I wanted to just, um, you know, show you one uh, functionality. So obviously you get the same, you know, voice calls, the themes, the gateways. So everything works the same way. But then if I go into the settings and even the settings are exactly the same, uh, you have these, um, you know, wallpaper. No, sorry. It's outside, it's in the themes. So these are the different themes that uh, uh, got introduced, I think version 1.11, if I can record correctly. I already covered this in a different video. And I think these layouts are more suited for the square version of the NS Panel Pro, because uh, I think on this one, on the newer version, there would be you know much better layout which suits this uh, screen size. So for example, I can imagine that uh, you know, a very similar um, layout than this one, but instead of having, you know, only three buttons, there will be two rows of three buttons. Because if you see this, I mean, there is plenty of space here on the screen to have like six buttons, and that would be much better use of the screen real estate, I think, uh, in that case. So again, this is something that they could, you know, enhance in a future firmware update. So we have a different different set of screen options for the square and the tall or the portrait version of the NS Panel Pro. The other thing I also wanted to mention, that's not really, you know, related to the size of the screen, but because now I have two NS Panel Pros, it would make sense to use the functionality that I can change one of the NS Panel Pro, uh, sorry, the Zigbee on the NS Panel Pro to be uh, in a router because you don't need, you know, two gateways in a house. You should have one gateway and all the other devices should act as a router. So you just have one central, you know, Zigbee networks and all the devices can use all the Zigbee devices. And that's something which is available here. And uh, that is again, not a new feature. It's been introduced sometime now. So in pilot features, Zigbee mode, and I can switch to router mode. And I tried this a couple of times, but I'm always getting errors. So I'm not really sure whether it's related to this new model or, uh, or it was uh, available. Oh no, now it is doing that. 
I was trying to test this a couple of times before and it just didn't work. So now it looks like that we were able to change uh, into router mode because um, the one thing I wanted to do with this Anos Panel Pro, as you can see here on this one, I have one of my Zigbee sensors showing up the uh, current temperature and humidity. And I wanted to use the same one on the new NS Panel Pro as well. But then in order to use this, it has to be on the same Zigbee network. Uh, so it can see all the devices as well. But for that, I had to turn this into a router mode. So it doesn't act as a separate gateway with a separate Zigbee network. Okay, so I skipped a couple of minutes from the recording, but uh, after changing it to a router mode, I had to reconfigure the whole thing. So it was just like erasing all the configuration. So I had to go through the initial setup. But now in the options, I have an option here which says, uh, you know, pair to a gateway. So what I can do, I can pair this to this guy as a Zigbee device. So hopefully that's going to work. Oh, that's okay. That's work. And it shows up as a Zigbee repeater. So that's great. Uh, and yeah, it is working now. Sorry, I'm just you know, trying to look through my camera. So what I'm hoping to do now is if I go back to the evening application, now in the settings, in the, I think it's in the humidity and temperature feeds. Mm, I can see only see the TH10. I was hoping that I can see the other Zigbee temperature sensor, but maybe it is just time and I need to, let me check what happens if I kill the um, evening application. Let me just see, I just uh, restart the evening application if it makes any difference. But, uh, oh, there is, a, it shows up as a router, repeating signals, yeah, that's fine. Um, going back, screens, still only shows the TH10. Hmm. Okay, so I was hoping that this would be, you know, some additional functionality, but it looks like it's not available. So, um, yeah maybe I cannot use a Zigbee sensor which is linked to a gateway of that to also show up here as the humidity and temperature feed. And since up until now I only had one NS Panel Pro, I wasn't able to show you this feature, but now because I have two, there is an NS Panel Pro to NS Panel Pro voice call uh, functionality available. So this could be used as an intercom within your home. So if I do the voice call here, I've removed the voice call button from here. Now I can see that I can call the cast tablet. So this is the uh, the cast application which is running, let's say on an iPad, or I can call my NS Panel Pro. So now it is dialing. Well, it is slower than a traditional intercom. So I have to give it that. And now we are going to get feedback. So I quickly kill the call. But uh, oops, that's how it works. You know, and now you can use, you know, um, device to device calling. So I'm thinking about maybe I'm going to give one of these to my uh, boys who are upstairs and we always have to like shout between the two stairs of the home. So now I can just call them and we can use it as an intercom to let them know that let's say dinner is ready and they should come down. This should be the summary of all the different features of the new NS Panel Pro, which is not really new features because as I said, it has the same functionality and the same hardware. I mean, obviously with the exception of the screen as the old one, it has a few, uh, like very few new features as in like, uh, you know, now with two units, you can do, uh, you know, voice to voice, uh, sorry, device to device voice calls. And also it has a portrait mode, which again, I found it a little bit less useful but if there would be some custom screens available, which is more aligned to this uh, landscape uh, you know, orientation, then I can imagine that that could be useful again. Maybe just have ones where you have you know, more buttons on the side or you know, two rows of buttons on either side, and then you can have the middle part of the screen uh, for the forecast and the, and the time. So that could be useful as a, you know, a landscape format. But I think in a portrait format, it looks a little bit better. So this device goes on sale on the 14th of August by the time this video goes live. So if you're interested in, you know, any of one of these, I'm going to have purchasing links in the video description. But that should be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.